kitchen sink drain line repair. All right, this started out as a clean out yesterday and kind of the worst possible outcome happened, which was the main line broke off while cleaning it out. This house is from the 60s. So I'm gonna show what happened. You can see where it snapped off there. And it was plugged up almost completely solid. So, there is no easy way to get to this. From inside, from outside, that might be, you might be able to get a better view there where it is. So we'll come out and I'll show you kind of the whole picture here. So the, the options are possibly to just pull this whole thing off the wall or the other option well there's a couple other options one is to try and hack this up in here so I can get to it which is one of the major considerations and if I could get to it either go over the top of it with a rubber coupling or try and get the broken male threads out. So of course the most preferred would be to get the male threads out that broke off and use this inch and a half and just install a new pipe. The second would probably be to go to this which this will slide over. Um, I believe if there's room in there this will slide over the outside of this fitting the big cast iron T that's in there and then this gives us our this adapter here gives us our inch and a half but that creates a big uh, gap in here for stuff to collect now it's a kitchen sink it does not have a garbage disposal and the occupant doesn't run anything from water but water down there he uses these screens um, and then the third is to go underneath and cut it. I could show that. This is the piece of cast iron that broke off right here. So the male threads are um, still inside the cast iron T. And then this connected to the trap under the sink. So going through here is really not an option, and you'll see why. Uh, this is the outside wall. We'll go underneath here, and I'll... Show what our options are. So... That right there, that's the toilet. So the the main drain line is right down here, kind of in this ditch. And it's kind of bad coloring, isn't it? So this is the bottom of the tub. Uh, see if you can follow me here. Let me zoom in. So that right there is our drain line. That's our drain line out going down. So this Y here comes back. And I got to say, I usually make these videos for a friend of mine, Autobahn Ryan. 
uh, the joys of home ownership because I know I always get a lot of flack for these plumbing deals and so it a really feels good but anyway back to the topic at hand you can see the hole in the wall right there uh, and the T and you can see that it's wood back there behind the T and zoom in a little more here so don't focus on the spider webs you dumb thing so that's the outside wall over there. You can see it's wood. And that's the inside. So not a lot of options here. The only other option I have besides getting clamped on to either the outside of that or getting the broken piece off of the inside, out of the inside, is to come over here and basically cut this here, cut it here and cut it here and put a T in here, a rubber T, and then go down there and go up through the floor, drill a hole in the floor and go up to the sink, which that would not be to code because you, you where your vacuum break would be. See this one, you have the the vent or the vacuum break up above the T, and you'd still have it. And plus, I have to cap that if I do that. If I go that route, I have to figure out how to cap that because you can't leave that open, puking sewer gas into the house. So I got a plug if I need to puke, uh, uh, plug it. So that route would go something like this: try and get this plug into the T. And then cut the um, cut that galvanized pipe out, and do and go with this, and use this to get down to inch and a half, and then use this to go up into the house uh, and connect to the trap. It'd never be a problem, but it wouldn't really be totally kosher. So I got everything here. I bought everything to do it uh, the different ways I have planned. I think the first thing to do is to try and figure out how to get this out of here, this piece of wood. And I really, I don't think I can without cutting it. Because it's, it's like, it's built into the cabinet. And the other thing is this is the shelf. You know, so maybe what I do is, uh, because the shelf is nailed in. I mean, this is old school stuff. It's not meant to. It's got two nails here. Maybe I could. I, I would prefer not to cut too much of this out of here. This is. It's not beautiful, but it's old school, all wood, no particle board, except this is that, they call it fiber board. But yeah, maybe what I do is I uh, cut this out and then take a floor jack and force this up as high as I can. I, mean, I, can, I can fit through that hole, but I can't work in that I, I need to be able to move my arms around to try and get that broken piece out or try and get that other one in there and this is kind of nice because i think it actually yeah it breaks here it goes through it goes through the the floor here it's like two separate pieces okay i think the easiest most non-destructive way is possibly is I can fit through this little hole here um, with both hands in front of me. I can, both arms out in front, I can fit through here. And it's not real comfortable, but I can do it. Okay, so our pipe is down in there. And this is, uh, this is not drywall per se. It's what they call, uh, 
gypsum lath and plaster where it's uh, little 16 inch sheets of old drywall and then they plaster over it with an uh, half an inch of your scratch coat and then your lime coat so you can see it's kind of a rough job back up in here but yeah this is and this has never been painted so this is strictly just the lime coat anyway so what do I do I bust this out and I try and get to it from this angle it's it's down in there pretty deep. I'd have to take quite a bit of this out. I could probably slide that big rubber boot over it from here and just be done with it. Yeah, you can see that, that it looks like, well, looks like they made the hole before they plastered it because they, uh, the plaster runs over the top of the uh, the lath board, the gypsum lath. So you can't. Yeah, see that's the plaster coat. Oh crap! Did I just break the lath away? And this is the gypsum lath right here. Crap. Well. That got the party going. <laughs> Getting down in here to flavor country now. So I wonder if I could get that male piece out or if I'm just... If I'm just better just to leave it alone. Man, that's in bad shape. I don't like doing this crap, but what other choice do I have? All right. And crap, this is too big. That's not going to do it. This fit over the one at the store. I don't know why it's so loose on this one here. This See, this will fit over the outside. I guess I need a 2 inch. This was 2 inch OD. This is too small. So this is too small to fit over it, and this is too big. Nah, it's, so my other option is to try and get that piece out and then screw this in it. That's the right way to do it. But man, this is not a comfortable working situation in here. I mean... It's tight, real tight. Regurgitated sewer spooge. Well, I've been kind of digging at this, uh, trying to get that male thread out of there, and I don't think there's anything left of the threads on the female side at the bottom. So I think my only hope left at this point is to try and get this no hub over here and it's quite a bit small um, maybe with enough lube and heat I can do it if I get this thing hot uh, if I get this hot in water and then put a put some uh, What do you call it on there? I might be able to, some uh, grease, I might be able to get it over. Okay, I got it on there. 
that's just a no hub and it fits perfect um, I just put it in warm water hot water and uh, it went right on there no grease or nothing okay the inner one is tight I use this little thing to tighten it up uh, the outer one is in it's glued I'm going to assemble it under the sink and then I'll tighten that one up because it gives us some wiggle room here. Okay, here's this reassembled. I like these rubber couplings because you can always take them apart to clean it out thoroughly, not just snake it. So now just to, just to tighten down this one over here. Okay, that's it. That ain't gonna leak. That's uh and I don't even think there's much room in there for anything to get caught. So it's pretty good. It's basically butted up with very little gap between the metal and the plastic. Okay, here we go. <laughs> see any leaks that's the main thing is I don't see any leaks wow that sucked that out quick it's kind of cool with the with the light under there you can see it lit up No leaks. That's what we want. No leaks. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's good.